All right, to the NRL. And South Sydney Sam Burgess has taken the early plea for contrary conduct after his squirrel grip on Will Chambers. Uh, here he goes. Uh, just bringing some romance back into it. He's also accepted that he has to take Will out for dinner and drinks. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting, though, wasn't it? Will Chambers has been at rugby for, for a couple of years. I think he was just trying to harden him up, really. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, what's going on? Yes. Any complaints, just straight to Tim Horan. Thank you. Sam's but... grabbing them. George is taking selfies of them. What, what are the other yeah. Burgess boys doing with it? <laughs> I think Luke's just had a baby, so he's probably going to get castrated. I don't know what's going on. So they're just, they're, they've got their mind on it. But there's an incident that I want to bring up. This uh -oh. was from 2002. Really? Um, now, we're talking about a squirrel grip. Mm -hmm. Now, this would be taking the squirrel out and eating it for main course because <laughs> Peter Philandia, who played footy for Sydney yeah. and also for Port Melbourne, um, he was caught biting... No. Um, ..biting Chad Davis' testicle. Uh, back in 2002, there was puncture marks. He was the coach at the time, and when you tell your players to go out and get the agate, you don't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, he got caught ten weeks. He got, uh, he got suspended for, for biting ten an weeks. opponent's... Jeez. Well, Sam has got uh, two weeks and he hasn't, you know, questioned it. He hasn't contested it, which is probably a good idea. The interesting thing today was a lot of old hardheads in rugby league deciding that because they've taken the biff out of the game, that leads to players being frustrated. So if I can't punch you in the head, I have to, you know, grab you downstairs. <laughs> do, you, do you make any sense out of that? Not at all. No. <laughs> There's cameras every, everywhere these days, so you're going to get picked up. So it's... We had Sam in here earlier this year. Lovely he boy. was a lovely He's boy. Can I, yeah. uh, clearly, you're all boys here. Yeah. Why would he do that? Yeah. Tim, was it known in rugby? <laughs> like, you, you was a sort of. <laughs> no. Uh, when you're playing against French teams and you had the ball, yeah. You'd, you'd certainly give him back the ball pretty quickly. No, we, <laughs> the line of the day, though, probably goes to the Broncos' Ben Hannant. Have a listen. I'm sure if he thought his time over, he wouldn't have done it. It was probably a spur of moment thing, but oh, I'm glad it's. Uh, you know, that, uh, no, nah, definitely not. It's, I'm too lazy even to screw rip my own. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I say that? <laughs> Just delete that. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Go again. Just delete that one. Boys. <laughs>